Let's talk about how you can get more listings by leveraging Zillow. Now it's about making your profile stand out and pop. I know most agents have a love-hate relationship with Zillow, and I'm not talking about spending any money on their advertising. We all know Zillow's filled with vague, incorrect information, and we hear it from homeowners all the time. But if you know how to use Zillow, Zillow can be a way that you can gain an advantage over your competition. If you think of it as more of a marketing tool and not so much as an enemy, you can win leads on Zillow without paying them a red cent. Here's a number of things that you can do for free on Zillow to maximize your reach. For the most part, homeowners use Zillow to find information, whether they're looking to buy, to sell, even if they're looking to work with an agent. That makes it a great place for you to stand out. And if you don't, you're missing out. If your profile stands out, homeowners will contact you either through Zillow or through your website. This is another platform to really brand yourself as a real estate and authority. So many agents don't have a great Zillow profile and it has missing information or it doesn't even have a picture on it and it's not filled out to fully represent you and your brand. Now this is where first impressions really matter because home sellers, home buyers are scrolling and they're waiting for something to grab their attention. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have a great quality headshot of your picture on there, a short text, to the point, share the important things and hold back the rest. Now, don't forget to link your social media, your profiles as well, your website. You can even add a video on there if you really wanna go that extra step and set yourself apart. The best way to get a positive attention on Zillow is to have a profile that includes the information about your book. You can share a link to your authority website, you can also take a snapshot of the image of your book and put that on there as a picture as well, or offer a brief summary of your book and how people can inquire about getting a free copy. Also, don't forget, add your past sales and current sales on there. Zillow will add some, but they're not really good at that. They're gonna miss a lot of things. If you go in there, correct mistakes, make sure they're not saying it was sold for a lower price, or if it was sold for a lower price, if there was any other incentives, make sure you list them on there. Also ask your past clients to go to Zillow and fill out a review and then respond to all your reviews. Even if you have one that's not so positive, if you respond to it, it's gonna shed light on the whole context of the situation. Another thing you can do when you get your past clients to fill out a review on Zillow, Maybe mail them a book with a cover letter asking them to fill out a, a Zillow review, then follow up with the email. And in that, when you mail them out that thank you letter asking for a review, give them a copy of your book. That's gonna help them know that, hey, I got this book to give to friends as well. Now, if you wanna be more of an expert online and perceive that way on Zillow, you can go to their forms and respond to people's questions. Sharing your knowledge on Zillow or Reddit or some of these other forms, are, it's really gonna help establish you as the authority online. This is a place where you can share knowledge and offer out your book, and it really builds a backlog of questions that you have answered, setting yourself as the authority. What you can do to build this up, because you can't just do it overnight, and if you let down and don't continue it, and then it's a waste of time. Set a goal of answering just a couple questions a week to continue your momentum on this. You'll also learn things, not maybe things in the real estate industry, but you'll start to learn more what people are thinking and in their mind, what prospects, home sellers and home buyers, what objections they really have in their mind and what are they struggling with. Even if someone's ranting on a realtor or realtors online, if you engage them in a dialogue, You'll hear the verbiage that's going through their mind. You'll hear the fears, the wants, the needs, the desires, and this will help you not build the perfect script, but it'll help you respond to home sellers in their language. Now to summarize everything here, Zillow doesn't have to be your enemy. If you know how to use it, 
you can actually land clients through Zillow, through your Zillow profile without spending a cent with them. Now make sure you include a link to your book and show people how they can get a copy. Send your books to past clients and get them to leave positive reviews on your behalf. Using Zillow as a platform for that is a great way for other people to see your reviews. Also, don't forget, get engaged on some of these Zillow forms, talk to buyers, talk to sellers, share some knowledge, it's gonna increase your credibility. So instead of lamenting on how Zillow is taking over the industry, use it to your advantage. In every challenge, there is an opportunity. Here's the opportunity that you have today in your environment. While everybody else is screaming and fighting about it, there's hidden opportunities like I just told you about that can help you land more listings, be the expert online, and also be the expert and the authority offline.